Hi, I'm Chaz Butler and I'm a lead coordinator here at Hope House. Hope House is a long-term residential treatment facility for women, specifically women with substance use, so that's drugs and alcohol. Um, one of the many things that makes us unique is that we allow the mom to bring her kids with her, so there's no need for her to choose between treatment and staying with her children. Uh, we serve the entire state of Georgia, but we are specific and unique to the 13 counties that surround us. We're the only facility like ourselves again in our 13 counties. Um, we pay a lot of attention to those rural areas. So Burke, McDuffie, Washington, places where there are absolutely no resources for treatment for women. Um, again, we're long-term, so our women are about here for about nine months, um, kind of depending on their needs, how many kids they have, things like that. Um, we have 42 apartments, um, making the women kind of feel at home and having their own space to figure out what recovery looks like for them. Um, you'll see a little bit later, we have our TCC, which is our therapeutic child care center. So we face, pay specific attention to our children. Um, our moms, Ginner in treatment, but so are the kids. The kids have seen a lot, so we want to give them the best chance of success that we can give them. Um, United Way is a huge part of what we do here. Again, today you'll see TCC, which is our therapeutic child care center, and we'll also show you an apartment. Um, United Way has been huge in helping us keep our TCC running, having bigger and better goals every year with that, and also our women treatment and recovery services. And now, We'll take you down to TCC and see what that looks like. Well, welcome to TCC. Again, this is our therapeutic child care program. Um, like I said a minute ago, um, our moms are in treatment, which is great, um, but the kids also kind of need to be in treatment. Um, everything from tutoring to occupational therapy to speech therapy, um, really any and everything our kids need. Another reason United Way is so great is they allow us to kind of bring things in that we may not have. Again, back to speech therapy, occupational therapy, things that our kids really need and without us they may not be able to have those services. Um, we do a lot of tutoring. At the moment we have the most children we've ever had. We have 26 and they range from newborns all the way up to 13 years old. Um, so again, a lot of different age groups. Um, but try, we try really hard to make sure that we kind of meet all the needs of all of our children. Um, we've never had a kid held back from a grade level, so we try really hard to make sure that we fill all those gaps. So some kids have you know, missed a lot of days of school before they found us. Um, so we try to, again, kind of fill in those gaps. Um, as you see, there's lots of sleeping babies around us. <laughs> um, so again, we do everything from rocking them to field trips in the summer, taking them to the zoo, lots of therapy. Um, things like that, keeping them busy. Um, you know, 2020 has been a weird year for us. So just trying to make sure that our moms and our kids stay busy. Idle hands are never good for anyone, whether you're in treatment or you're not. Um, so yeah, as you can see behind me, it's, we have it kind of split in half, half of it for the newborns and then half of it for our school age kids. Um, it looks like a daycare as you can see, but it is so, so much more. Um, Again, I go back to United Way, but United Way has been a huge help. They make this all possible. Um, and without you guys, I don't know what we would do. Okay, now we're gonna head to an apartment and kind of talk about our WTRS Women's Treatment and Recovery Services. Hi, so welcome to one of our apartments. Um, what makes us unique, once again, um, is that we give our girls their own living space. So as we walk through this apartment, you'll see um, it is bigger and nicer than my first apartment and probably most of yours. Um, we make sure it's fully furnished and has everything that they need. So a lot of our girls come to us um, and have possibly never had their own space, maybe never had their own apartment, um, they've never had anything that was there. So we try to give them a space to figure that out, what their life looks like in recovery um, and giving their kids too, plenty of space to play and make messes and not have to worry about sharing a room with four other girls. Um, so again, we'll kind of walk around and I'll show you, but back to United Way. All of this would not be possible without United Way. Um, you guys have been such a huge part of making these apartments work, um, making sure that our girls have everything they need to fill them, making sure that um, 
everything is good to go so they can make it to group, so they can continue to work towards finding a job and becoming self-sufficient. Um, without a job, you can't be self-sufficient. You can't pay bills. You can't learn how to meal prep for your kids. Um, you know, daycare is kind of an issue. So kind of all comes together in being self-sufficient from TCC to an apartment to finding a job and then also just kind of being in treatment and learning what life looks like on the other side of recovery. Um, so again, this is the living room. Looks like a normal living room, plenty of places to sit, take a nap. Um, all the apartments look about the same. They're fully furnished. Again, the kitchens are fully stocked. Um, we want that to be the last worry on their, on their list of stuff when they come to recovery. So here, we'll head down the hall. So like I said, a full functioning kitchen, everything you could ever need. Um, again, once they start working, they can grocery shop, they can fill the fridge with all those snacks and stuff that kids love. Um, but yeah, pots, pans, plates, cups, again, everything that they need. And again, United Way is a huge part of making sure those things are filled. Um, we'll head back down the hallway, again, a full bathroom. Um, and then we have The bedroom, um, all of our apartments are two, three, and four bedroom. This one happens to be a two bedroom. Um, again, if a mom comes to us with four kids, we're not gonna stick her in a two bedroom apartment. Um, that would not be good for anyone, whether you're in treatment or you're not. So we give them the space to be who they are. Mom needs a room, child needs a room. They need to be able to make a mess and clean it up every night, again, without having to worry about three other women and lots of other kids sharing the same space. Um, so here, we'll walk into the kids' room. Again, lots of room to play. You see his little workbench. This particular child loves his workbench, loves Legos, loves putting stuff together. Um, but yeah, again, just lots of space um, because re recovery is their biggest, their biggest goal here. Um, so yeah, those are our apartments. Um, again, just trying to give the girls the biggest space they can to become self-sufficient and figure out what that looks like for them. And next, we have one of our most favorite success stories. It's Kyle Landrum. She was a participant here, um, but then also now works for us. She is our administrative assistant, and life would not be the same without her. Hi, I'm Kyle Landrum, and I am the administrative assistant here at Hope House. And it's just really amazing to be on the other side now because I went through this program from 2017 to 2018 but before that before I got into this program I was actually in jail for three months while being pregnant and I got out of jail and came to Hope House where Hope House was able to save my life and all the people and United Way and everybody that helps this program we're so grateful for because they help save women and children like me. And my child got to go to TCC and I knew that he was looked after and taken care of and giving all the, given all the things to help his development. And again, that's all thanks to United Way helping us help our women. And I am beyond grateful for this program because it saved my life. And now I get to work here and watch the light come on for other women that get to be here and watch their kids just grow and change and develop and the whole thing is just amazing. So, I mean, if you could just please give, like please help United Way, help us, help our women, help our children, because it's just all really amazing. And like I said, I started, I started in jail and now I'm here and I get to work here and it's wonderful. Thank you. Thanks so much for coming to learn a little bit more about Hope House today. And thank you so much for your continued support of not only United Way, but all of their partner agencies. We hope you have a great afternoon.